Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Infinite Repeat. I'm your host, Nate, and I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while now, just talking a little bit, less edited video. So this is going to be an update video on the channel and slash movies and shows that I'm looking forward to in the year 2022. There's, there's a lot of stuff coming out this year that I kind of wanted to talk about, and I may or may not do videos on. Before we get into it, remember to like the video and also subscribe if you want to keep up with updates. And without further ado, theme music! Back at it. Back. All right. So, first things first. In the month of March, we already know what's coming out. The new Batman movie. Everyone's looking forward to it. Obviously, I'm gonna review that. Ah, damn it. I have way too many freaking alarms. Anyway, yeah, Batman. Looking forward to it. Going to review it. Possibly two reviews. One with myself, a non-spoiler review, and one with my sister Alicia. A lot of you guys like the, the last one we did together. I want to get her on more videos, but she's a, she's a hard one to coordinate with. But we will be doing a review, spoiler review of the Batman. And we actually have a little bet going on whether or not this movie will get a billion in the box office or not. I, she says it will, I say it won't. Not because I have doubts that the movie will be good. I'm just not completely sure if it will hit a billion, but we'll see. The other thing that's coming out in March, a little bit at the end of March, is the next Disney Plus show, Moon Knight on March 30th. Uh, I've only recently dived into the, this character in the comics, so I can't really say I am a super fan, but but I do really like this character. He's a very different character than I feel like we have seen in the Marvel Universe thus far, and I hope the show follows suit. i be honest, I haven't really liked a lot of these Disney Plus shows that come out, and I feel like the reception of that is kind of universal. Most of these shows have been very mixed for a lot of people. Even one show that I like, like WandaVision, I have had no desire to rewatch at all. And ones like Loki, whereas I know a lot of people liked, I did not. But I think this Moon Knight one might be different. I mean, unlike the other who started characters that were already established, Moon Knight is a brand new character, so I'm hoping this will stand out on its own. Obviously, we're going to see this character again in the movies, but I feel like this is going to be a good first outing for the character Moon Knight. Going on to another comic book property in the month of April, we have Mobius. Um, by Sony. Yeah, I've seen this trailer a couple times now, and yeah, I don't know. Don't really have any opinion on it one way or another. I'll probably see it though. The Sony verse is so strange to me. I didn't see Venom 2. I didn't really like Venom 1. I don't even know if I really should even see this movie, to be perfectly honest. Maybe if I hear good things about it. Mobius, that character, I don't. <laughs> it's such a strange character, but. But I guess we'll see. I mean, if you let people let me know if that's a good movie or not. A little bit down the line, we got Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with Hilpus Alba as Knuckles. What a choice. Finally, we have good video game movies. I know that I am a big fan of Sonic, so I might go see this movie. I enjoyed the first one relatively enough. In the middle of April, we have the next Fantastic Beast movies. Fantastic Beast, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I've actually recently rewatched the first Fantastic Beast movie pretty good. I still have yet to see the second one. I find it so strange that these movies are even a franchise now, the Fantastic Beasts franchise, but I guess we'll see with the, this third one how they close it out. In the month of May, we have probably my most anticipated movie, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This movie looks absolutely insane. Everybody is throwing out speculations and theories, who is what, and how is this going to shape the Marvel Universe. I've also recently started reading more Doctor Strange comics. His comics are insane. And, and I'm glad we're finally getting some of that craziness in the Marvel Universe. The, a lot of the Marvel Universe has been very samey lately. Even with though, I'm really looking forward to seeing how Marvel's gonna change things up this year. So another movie that I didn't even know about until until starting this video was apparently we're getting a Firestarter remake. Uh, for those who don't know what that is, it's a movie that came out a long time ago. I don't even know when, like the 80s or something like that. It's a story about a young girl who's being chased by the government with her father who both have powers i believe they were given to them by the government her father has the power to read minds and control them while the daughter has the power of pyrokinesis there's actually a trailer for this hold on okay so i just watched the trailer for that movie and uh i don't know i don't know who this is for really i remember i have i mean i haven't seen the original firestar in years since i was a kid and, and that was a very simple movie this looks like a very typical superhero movie like they're trying to make it like the, the original story was just a very simple father and daughter story and this actually stars Zac Efron which I don't think I've seen him in a drama before but I feel like I've only seen him in comedies it's also being produced by Blumhouse the most inconsistent studio I feel like they put out 
bangers while also time putting out absolute crap and this might be in the crap territory who knows that that is the month of may the month of june we will have jurassic world dominion lightyear and elvis three things that i don't feel like are completely necessary at all i haven't seen any of the jurassic world movies but they make hell of freaking money i don't know how or why it seems like every time one of these movies come out i hear nothing but complaints from people lightyear Ah, didn't they already make an Elvis movie before? I don't know. Moving on, we're in the month of July, we have Thor, Love, and Thunder. That is the movie where apparently Jane Foster is becoming the new Thor. Don't know how I feel about that. Natalie Portman is a great actress. I don't think she's a great actress in these movies. I feel like she's very underutilized, and it feels very strange to bring her back to be a new star of a Thor movie. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. Thor, the comic book run that they, they might be using in the comics is very, very well done, and I'm a big fan of it. So I can't wait to see how Marvel butchers Bush it in the movies. But hey, might be good. I don't know. I actually, actually been wanting to make a Thor trailer talking about how I do not like the Thor movies. So maybe I'll get that out before this movie. At the end of July, we have, have Nope, the next Jordan Peele movie and Black Adam. <laughs> Jordan Peele, I mean, honestly, the guy hasn't missed yet. So if it's anything like his previous works, I'm definitely going to like this movie. Black Adam with The Rock. I'm very curious if they haven't really shown anything with this movie, so I'm wondering how The Rock is going to be as a villain in the DC Universe. If you were to tell me years ago that The Rock and John Cena were going to both be not only characters in superhero movies, but also in the same universe, I would have called you crazy. DC, I'm very interested in what they're going to be doing this year. Uh, skip her and go over to the month of September. That is when the Ring of pa the Rings of Power movie comes out, or not movie, sorry, the Rings of Power Amazon Prime television show. This movie show has a lot of controversy behind it. I don't really try to pay attention to all of that stuff. I just all I want from the show is good story, good characters, good action. I have no idea what this, this story in this is this even supposed to be in this. I'm not familiar with the books, but let's hope it does. It's not just another cheap cash in for Amazon. At the tail end of the year, we have Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. Quite frankly, if you have not seen Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, just hand over your Spider-Man fan card, or and I will not return it until then. One of the best animated movies I've seen in a long time, and thank God it is getting a sequel. Well deserved. Hey, what's up guys? Future Nate here. I am currently editing this video, and I just realized that this Across the Spider-Verse movie is actually a part one of part two. Or part one of two which is even better in my opinion which means we're going to get a trilogy that's great i really hope we get more superhero animated movies as i feel like we don't have nearly enough as much as i love the live action movies we need more superhero animated movies. we need more animated movies damn it and i think the last superhero anime movie i know about it was the lego batman movie which if you haven't seen it is great i didn't see it in theaters but it's great so definitely yeah once again looking forward to this next spider-verse movie hope everyone checks it out please halloween ends of course we are getting another freaking halloween movie is this are, we're just doing this every year now i guess halloween ends hopefully it will end after this in the month of november we're getting an another disney live action and well, i put live action quotations pinocchio i have no idea what this is didn't we already get a pinocchio movie i could swear that was a thing all right this apparently has tom hanks in it and joseph joseph gordon levitt uh, what is this Either way, this one doesn't look like it's going to be in theaters. It's going to be a Disney Plus original. Thank goodness I have a reason to not watch it once again. Again, I cannot stand these Disney live action remakes. I wish they would stop, but they're not going to. The Flash. I have no idea if this movie is going to be good or not. Now, DC is, on one hand, they're making some very interesting moves. On another hand, there's this Flash movie, and I have no idea what this, this thing is about. Uh, I mean, if you know anything about the Flashpoint story, you know this is how... It's a time travel story on basically how DC resets the universe back to square one. So I'm assuming this is going to be somewhat the same. I mean, we already had, I mean, there's a bunch of actors who are never going to come back most likely. So this is DC's way of moving forward, I guess. I'm wondering who, we're getting a bunch of sequels in the DC universe. Like what exactly are they keeping and going for using? I have no idea, but I guess we'll have to wait and see for that. In the month of December, we have a, another Pinocchio show. What is this? A Netflix movie now, animation. Why, what is the deal with Pinocchio? Oh, this is the Guillermo del Toro movie. Actually, this might be good. I'm, I'll, I'll take animation or a dumbass live action remake any day. And Guillermo del Toro, 
yeah, I I'm watching this. Netflix, you have my attention once again. December actually has a lot of stuff going on with Avatar 2 and Aquaman The Lost Kingdom coming out on the same day. I don't know about how that. James Cameron taking the longest vacation in history just to come back to direct a mediocre sequel. Nice. Avatar, like, are we even supposed to be hyped for this? I still can't. It's the highest grossing movie of all time, and now we're getting a sequel. The highest grossing mediocre movie of all time that I've ever seen. I've rewatched the Avatar in the past couple years, and yeah, it's. It, I have the same feelings I had about back then. It's, it's just okay. The technology is revolutionary, but other than that, there's nothing really else to talk about. And now we're gonna get, what, three, four of these and a potential video game? Okay, great. Thank you, James Cameron. I'll command the Lost Kingdom. I liked the last Aquaman movie, I feel like Jason Momoa did a great job, can't wait to see what he's going to do in the future. This comes out after The Flash as well, so, hmm. you think they would have ended the year with The Flash movie, but goddamn cars. Also the Mario movie, Super Mario Brothers, with the weirdest casting in the freaking world. I hate movies like this, like, why can't we just get actual voice actors to voice these characters? But no, we gotta go with the celebrities, we gotta go with celebrities like Chris Pratt, Charlie Day, Jack Black, Seth Rogen, character people who, who are not voice actors, but whatever. It's frank, quite frankly, the fact that it took this long to get a Mario movie is beyond me. And yeah, those are the movies that, and shows that I'm interested in, at least out of curiosity, to, you know, in the year 2022. Some, like I said, some I might talk about, some I might not. I also have some other video ideas, like other Batman movies, another matrix video but this time talking about the animatrix animated movies or animated set of movies i should say of course i still need to finish making that power ranger video i have not forgotten about that and and finish up my look at the screen tv show i have started season two but i need to rewatch to get a couple to take notes on it still wondering whether or not i would put some actual gameplay finish on this channel where it's just me playing games i'm not too sure if i'll be doing that or not maybe who knows if you guys have any video ideas or video suggestions feel free to let me know in the comments what you want me to talk about in the future or movies or shows you you think i might like other than that that's pretty much it for this video thing once again thanks for watching or listening to this as a podcast if you will once again subscribe for further content in the future and like the video it does help out other than that, I'll catch you next time. This Once again, this is Infinite Repeat. I've been Nate. Stay up.